Rust 1.71.1 was released on August 3rd, 2023, thanks to the hard work of eight contributors. At least, I count eight after I throw out the bot that merges stuff and merge Pietro Albini back into a single person. The first change that we're going to discuss today is the one that prompted this patch release in the first place. Security Fix CVE 2023-38497. There's an entire security advisory write-up link available in the details below, but the short version is that Cargo was ignoring the UMask configured on Unix-like systems such as macOS and Linux. So when Cargo extracted the source code for dependencies to compile, if the source code had been archived with broad write permissions and the location of Cargo's cache directory had broad write permissions, then a different local user on the same system could potentially overwrite Rust source files for dependencies causing arbitrary code execution on the user's next compile. Rust 1.71.1 clears the cache created by earlier versions and respects the UMask configured on the system to ensure that, assuming a sane UMask is configured, this type of attack is no longer possible. If you can't upgrade to 1.71.1 or higher, but you want to protect against this attack vector anyway, you can clear the group and ownership permissions of Cargo's directory with a command like this one. Number two. Rust 1.71.0 broke the bash completion support for Rust up. This has been fixed in 1.71.1. Hooray for tab completion. Number three, the suspicious double ref up lint was incorrectly flagging borrows of double references. This has been fixed so that the lint only flags clones and derefs of double references like it should. Number four, there were two internal compiler errors, or in other words, compiler crashes that were fixed. The conditions for these crashes to occur were exotic enough that I couldn't produce code examples that would cause them, so go check the links below if you want the full details. Number five. If you were on Linux with an ARM64 processor and you tried to use Rust 1.70.0 to build Rust 1.71.0 from a source tarball, then it wouldn't work. This has been fixed with Rust 1.71.1. If you are going to RustConf in September, sign up for my ultimate Rust crash course through the RustConf website, or for any of my independent courses, tutoring hours, or events, sign up at agileperception.com. Links are in the details below. Like and subscribe if you want more videos like this.